Tonight, one of the members of an Ohio family accused of murdering eight members of another wants the death penalty off the table. George Wagner says he didn't kill anyone and that his own brother's guilty plea backs that up. Cassie Arsad breaks down today's developments. The murder of eight Rodin family members was largely a mystery until April of this year when Jake Wagner admitted to personally killing five of them. That was the first domino to fall, and since then, what is possibly the truth is slowly coming to light. Earlier this month, Jake's mother, Angela Wagner, pleaded guilty to planning the murders. Both Angela and Jake laid out the events of that deadly night to the prosecution. In exchange, they won't face the death penalty, but they will have to testify against George Wagner and his father. Today, George isn't admitting guilt rather reaffirming his innocence. In a court filing, lawyers for the 29-year-old lay out the argument that because he wasn't the triggerman, he's not eligible for the death penalty. In the paperwork, defense attorneys write, the state seeks to hold the death penalty over the head of George Wagner, who did not kill anybody while it has struck a remarkable plea bargain with the actual killer of at least five victims, who also shot a sixth victim. The attorneys make it clear they want the death penalty and murder charges dropped because there's no DNA evidence, a recorded voluntary confession, or a video recording linking the defendant to the murder after five years of investigating. They go so far as to hint they will eventually seek to have the entire case dismissed for lack of sufficient evidence. The information from attorneys that George Wagner shot no one, coupled with his mother's admission that she didn't either, would put the violence squarely on the shoulders of Jake Wagner and his father, Billy. When we'll learn what Angela and Jake told prosecutors remains to be seen. Cassie Arsenault, Local 12 News. George Wagner will be back in court in a month. His father, Billy, returns in November.